What's up, YouTube, man? I'm bringing you guys another video, man. I just wanted to bring y'all this video to show you a trick. Um, it's not really a trick, man. It's almost like cheating. It's almost like trick. And the trick is blend, 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 blend. If you want to make some money in this game, you're going to have to know how to blend, man. And here we got a Jeep Cherokee bumper. And it's a two part bumper. The bottom of the bumper was damaged. So we got a new bottom of the bumper. The top bumper is not damaged. Now I ain't had time to sit here and um, color match it and do a ton of spray outs or whatever. So I just read the color with the camera. And on whites, the camera's not that accurate, man. The camera's not that accurate on whites for some reason for me. I don't know. Um, it either makes them too dark, too yellow, or it makes them way too white. If that make any sense. But uh, the bottom part, you know, I sanded it with 600. It was already primed. Um, I'm putting down that white sealer now. Make sure I'm hitting all the edges and all that. That's going to make it easy for the base coat to cover. You know, uh, two coats and it's pretty much done. Now, uh, the top part, I had to fix a little scratch in it, which I pretty much just sanded out with 80 grit, 180, 320, primer. I used aerosol primer. Uh, dried it with the heat lamp real quick. About an hour later, went and sanded that down with 400. Went over with 600. Sanded the rest of the bumper with 800 grit. And there you can see that primer spot. I, uh, one coat of base pretty much covered it, but you know, I put two on it. But, uh, so the trick is, man, I know that bottom part is gonna have to match. So I put base coat on the bottom part right there. And I got that body line there, so I, and I'm gonna keep paint out of the red circle area. And if some overspray lands over the body line, just a little bit of overspray, it'll be all right, because that concave, you'll kind of lose the blend. Now, whites aren't that hard to blend. But as you can see now, the white at the bottom of the bumper is a little yellower than the white at the top bumper. And man, uh, I could have went out there and mixed up another variant of the color real quick. You know, uh, probably the standard variant. I know the camera gave me a yellower variant, but uh, I didn't want to waste no time. And I knew it would be all right, you know, with this blend that I'm doing here. That first coat of base on this, man, White, white ain't too hard, bro. It's gonna go down easy. You ain't gotta worry about it too much. It's gonna cover in two coats most of the time, you know, unless you use too dark of a primer or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm using DV1 C. Uh, what is it? B plus air cap or something like that. 1.2, 1.3. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, man, you gotta lay down that base coat. You can see how much yellow it is in the sealer. It, it, it was way yellow, but I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. Stay at the end of the video so you can see how well it matches, man. Um, and even when I had it outside, I could see the yellowness of it, but with the blend, nobody else could even catch it. I had to actually point it out to my boss that it was yellower, and then he seen it, but at first, he, he didn't see it at all. Now, all those little spots where the uh, sensors go I uh, pop the actual sensor out and then the little ring that goes around them I paint those two sand them stuff them up with the gray scotch bright sand, uh, paint them up and you see how I'm just staying right below that body line there just because you know you got to have that bumper matching the quarter panels that's what the deciding factor is when somebody see that ain't matching they gonna say no redo it but with the rest of the bumper it got to match the lift gate, but it's on a different angle, so, you know, if it's off a little bit, you really can't catch it with the eye. And that's all blending is, is tricking the eye, tricking the eye. Because, no, you, you can even use the same color at two different times, the same paint out the same pan at two different times, and the color comes out a little different. Just, you know, with the temperatures and humidity and air pressure, you know, everything plays a, a small factor in it. And that's why it's so important to blend. And like I told you before, if you don't blend, you can make your job a lot harder. Now this job was probably like a, I don't remember, I think it was like a 13, 14 hour job. I smashed it out in about three, four hours. You know, all I had to do was get that bumper off. And, I, and then, you know, I get paid to uh, R&I the bumper and all that good stuff because I do my own body work too. And, uh, Paint it, you know, the paint time went 13, 14 hours, but you know, the whole job overall was 13, 14 hours. I, I pretty much had it done in one day uh, while I was working on other jobs. And that's how you uh, make your hours in this. 
I ain't gonna show you too much of the clear coat, man. The clear coat goes on the same as any other bumper. You can go watch one of my old videos, man, and watch that clear coat. But uh, I'm gonna give y'all a quick look of it outside, and y'all tell me what y'all think. Match the quarter panels just fine. As you can see, it gets a little bit yellower right there in the middle, but uh, nobody even knows, man. And that's how you get that money.